Hello everybody, this is Swedish Traveler here. How are you doing? Um, I'm pre-recording this on on a Thursday, um, since I since I will be working the rest of the weekend. Um, so so yeah. Um, in case I in case I can't manage to do the video tomorrow, so which is why I'm here. Um, and uh, you might have noticed this is going to be another world news video. This is going to be a very long one because a lot of things has happened uh, during the week. Um, uh, the first thing that I want to talk about, um, there is some uh, talks about the Pfizer vaccine on COVID-19. Um, that it might have, some studies has revealed that it might be great to have uh, have another shot shot after six months because some some reports have said that uh, uh, vaccinations well the protection uh, because of the vaccinations are getting lower after six months so it might be possible to get a third one after six months um, I do think that it might be uh, that it should be more studied if it's true or not um, so yeah and that's all about that uh, the second the second thing that I want to talk about um, is a 13 year old uh, Brazilian skater has gotten uh, silver in in the Olympics um, uh, which is amazing um, and really really cool um, sadly I don't remember the name and sadly uh, I would probably butcher the name as well so uh, I would not probably uh, try to pronounce it uh, so the next thing that, we, uh, that I want to talk about is what, uh, what is happening in uh, Tun Tunisia um, it has been quite a lot um, that has happened, um, at least in the political political sphere, um, and uh, I think that at least the president just disbanded the government, um, and uh, they are trying to at least get a new government so um so we will see what uh, what happens what happens with that uh there has been a person um who has been the internal minister um that that has got the job to at least and uh, try to build a new government and if that doesn't happen after a month there will be more elections so, uh, we will see what else going, uh, what else will be going on with that. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is um, there has been a huge flooding in China. First, it was uh, Germany, uh, Belgium, and Netherlands, and now China. Um, and uh, at least from what I can understand as well, uh, the Chinese government has been trying to at least um, keep it on the down low of the damages and stuff. But but uh, journalists are doing what they're doing and uh, has revealed a lot about that. And uh, speaking of that... Um, at least a lot of people has uh, has argued against China about um, well uh, I think it was BBC that argued against China for um, totally removing um, a BBC crew and uh, BBC doesn't know where they are and they are trying to find them um, and uh, Knowing China, it might be <laughs> they might be somewhere in some prison. 
Um, I don't understand why though, but yeah, um, that's what it is. Um, the fifth thing that I want to talk about is what uh, what is happening in Myanmar. Um, the military is uh, still controlling the area, um, and uh, they have at least uh, they made an internal um, investigation about the elections that happened in Myanmar, and uh, they found it that uh, the the government that they were overthrowing were cheating in the elections in their own uh, in their own investigation um, and uh, a lot of countries doesn't really like that because they call bullshit on that um, and uh, Aung San Suu Kyi is still in exile uh, as, far as, as far as I can understand um, so yeah I hope the countries are keeping pressure on them just to um, uh, just to get this resolved um, the sixth thing that I want to talk about is um, it has uh, at least a good thing at least um, that uh, there has been a de decrease in poaching in, in, in Namibia um, can I look up the article real quick um, And uh, there has been a lot, uh, a lot of decreases in uh, poaching of rhinos and elephants. Um, uh, only nine um, rhinos have been killed this year. Um, and uh, it's because of uh, an increased cooperation with uh, the police and the public itself. Um, and uh, the, and that's a real good thing, and I, ho I and I hope that it does uh, continue to decrease and be totally vanished vanished at some point. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see more about that. Uh, hopefully. And uh, next thing that I want to talk about is that it has been a has been an explosion um, at a chemical plant in Leverkusen in Germany. Like Germany hasn't really got enough. Um, um, and there are five people that are missing uh, still. Um, It doesn't say what kind of uh, uh, what kind of chemicals there is in the in the plant, but it's still unclear why it exploded as well. So um, hopefully, I will keep you posted on that as well. Um, and the next thing that I want to talk about uh, is a city in the south uh, called Kalmar in Sweden. Um, they have, there have been, well, the city has also some issues with overflowing, flooding uh, as well. And uh, hopefully the, it will get resolved. Um, so we will see about that. Um, and the next thing that I want to talk about, well, a Thai, in Thai Swede um, has been sentenced to 15 years in prison in the US for a major crypto fraud um, that was involved with trying to trade in crypto, coin, in crypto coins and uh, just getting investors and totally scamming, scamming their money, living the high life, so to speak. Um, and uh, yeah, um, so he, he did finally get caught and sentenced to prison. Um, hopefully, he, he will learn his lesson. <laughs> um, 
so yeah that's about it about that um the next thing that i want to talk about um is that uh china has arrested uh one of their late uh, one of their one of the richest um people in china um trying to see i'm trying to find the article um the person itself uh was kind of, was relatively outspoken um and uh he's been accused of um um provoking problems and uh just trying to plan arguments and stuff uh, which is a common thing to be arrested for in China apparently uh, at least uh, that's what China is accusing people that are against the regime and, uh, regime and stuff <coughs> um, and the billionaire itself is uh, Sun Davu he's um, been sentenced to 18 years in prison um, so yeah uh, I think it's really messed up at least for the speaking against the government and get sentenced to 18 years for that um, um, yeah it, it is really messed up I must admit um, the next thing uh, this is uh, two things that may be included into one. Um, the in the drum, drummer uh, Joey Jordison, who is known for the former uh, former drummer for Slipknot, has passed away. Um, at least right now, it, it is unclear why he passed away. Um, it is really sad because I do I do like. Um, at least Slipknot's old stuff. I haven't heard a new album yet, but um, and uh, I do I do admit that you know, Joey Jordison was a was an amazing drummer. So and uh, yeah, it's sad that he passed away. Um, and uh, just the day after, um, Dusty Hill from CZ Top. Uh, the bass player in CC Top has passed away as well. Um, at least uh, he was uh, in the hospital for uh, for some hip problems, but it's unknown if if that's the case. <laughs> but so at least right now it, it is unknown. But you can correct me on that uh, if you want to. Um, so yeah. Um, and the last thing that I want to talk about, um, Blizzard slash Activision has been sued, um, by the state of California, actually. <laughs> um, at least from what I can understand, uh, California has been investigating, uh, Blizzard Activision for a couple of years because of, um, a total lack of, um, great, um, working environment, um. It has been a lot of sexual harassment, um, uh, amongst other things as well, and uh, I don't rem I don't remember the amount um, uh, that uh, the state is suing them for, but um, and I think I read somewhere that Blizzard Activision are fighting against it claiming that they have been actively um, trying to work uh, trying to fix the environment so to speak but I don't think that's the case I don't think that's true um, so I as I said it was a long winded, uh, winded video comment below what you think you can like and subscribe and if you want to support my channel you can buy some merch in the merch app down below otherwise peace